Barney there trying to close him down. Here's John spreading play over to the gantry. You can look at it and they're just uh, they're keeping that shape, they're keeping those lines as you say, Rob, all the way along here. Hippo was there as well. Plays it out from the back again here to Craig. A certain team we won't mention. Very good goal though. Yeah, I can't help but <laughs> smile seeing him back in the window. Across the back. Trying to get out of their own half here now. Here is uh, John for Tottenham. Over to Mundell. Here to the box for Spurs. Okay, he's in towards the end, trying to open up and find pockets of space here, but every time they look up that line of Wimbledon players across the back there is keeping in the ball further up the pitch, I'm sure, but the work he'd done defensively was key for the side. So, um, yeah, really, really good shift by him. Floodlights on here in the second half now, really taking effect as Paul over on the far side. He's just taken away from Wimbledon there. From Aji Hirsch, his Spurs get uh, possession. Come on, come on. Press, press, press. Spurs fight their way out of their own box here, now into... But, um, real technical midfielder and has worked so, so hard at the start of this season. I don't think anyone would have expected him to play such a massive part of Argyle, but tonight very much here supporting the young Dons in their quest to reach the fifth round again for a third time. But in the meantime, now really taking centre stage here and staging it one of its first occasions here tonight as AFC Wallet's Academy is to give it really good time here against a Category 1 side here and with a real chance of progressing to the fifth round. Just the 16 year old, the goal scorer against Burnley. And here's John for Tottenham. Gasson over with the uh, free kick to Spurs there. Ball forward now for Mundell. Spurs here, central shot goes away. Oh, and that's the opening goal for Tottenham against the run of.